You're watching Yaush Reloaded. Welcome to Moab Mondays. What is going on, people? This is Gnarly Rick, and I am back again in action with Moab Monday. I have got an absolutely beast 100 kill specialist Moab by Amp Boob. That's right, I said Amp Boob. He's the newest member of Amp Clan. These guys have just been storming my series. I have other variety in there, but they are the bread and butter and the consistency of the series so far after it's been going on for probably about eight or nine months now. So Amp Boob is an incredible player. You should drop by his channel and check out all his Moabs as well as Amp Clan. They are both linked in the description. Go take a look. I guarantee you're going to enjoy their content. I'm going to move on now. Black Ops 2 maps. I was really excited to see this leaked out on Charlie Intel. I'm going to go over some of these maps. And before I go over them, I'm going to ask a question here. And this is probably going to get a little bit of a flame war started between people that watch this series. I want to know, who do you think designs better maps? Infinity Ward or Activision? I'm sure everybody's got their opinions and, you know, they have their reasons why. And I want you to drop those in the comments and really let people know what you think. Because we are, you know, we're right around the bend here from Black Ops 2. That's coming out early November and we're going to be seeing a lot of really good stuff. These maps that were leaked out, I'm going to go over some of them. Because the ideas of them kind of impressed me here. So, first one I want to go over is called Cargo. Now, this is a port of Singapore and it's good for close quarters engagements and verticality. Now... Verticality to me always means kind of a sniper map where there's different levels and stuff like that. So there is something for snipers there. And in last week's episode of Moab Monday, I went over how there's an attachment that's actually going to be used for quick scoping on sniper rifles. And I haven't heard or read anything different, so I'm assuming that's going to be in there. Another map that might be really good for snipers, I'm assuming, is called Aftermath. This is in the downtown of Los Angeles. It's close engagements, and you know, it's in a Fallout type place. I'm thinking that it's going to be buildings kind of across from each other or something along those lines. That's my best guess. You can let me know what you think about that as well. Um, there's one I was really excited about called Carrier, and this is a Chinese super carrier, open engagements on the deck with great close quarters fights through the hull, and I think that this is going to be awesome for objective type games like bomb planting, stuff like that. They got a, a lot of really good maps here. Here's one called Express. Los Angeles bullet train station so it looks like it's maybe a little bit circular and you can go through the center as well kinda go around the trains as well they've got really creative with some of these maps uh, one called hijack this one looked really cool it's a luxury super yacht so it's just frantic yet controlled they say close quarters engagements and I don't know that that might be like kinda the nuke town of this map in my opinion the new map that's small that everybody's gonna love that'd be my best guess at what what would be most popular here once again, let me know what you think about that. So, one that looked really exciting to me was Overflow. And the reason it looked exciting is it reminds me of an old Modern Warfare 2 map from the screenshot here. I don't know why, but it's in a place called Peshawar in Pakistan. And it's great urban engagements in the flooded streets. So, I think that flooding is going to add another type of barrier to, to play through when you're doing the multiplayer maps. I'm tired of them throwing stuff up everywhere. You know, like uh, chop down choppers and all this other stuff. It's nice to see some interactive stuff like water in there. Probably the most interesting map that I've seen that looks like nothing else I've ever seen is Promenade. Now, this is a floating resort in the middle of the Indian Ocean with tight corners and angles throughout. I can't wait to see what that's going to be like. It just sounds completely different. So I'm not going to go through all the maps here because some of them just look kind of general and basic like you'd expect in any Call of Duty. But the last interesting one I'll highlight is called Raid. It's basically a Hollywood Hills mansion. I'm assuming it's called Raid because maybe there's drug paraphernalia and stuff like that in that environment. And you're battling through it in a multiplayer map. And I thought that was a really cool idea. It's creative. I haven't seen it in a lot of different games. And I can't wait to try that out. So if you guys want a full list of these maps, check out Charlie Intel below in the link. Uh, for now, we're going to watch him close in on this Beast Moab. Now that is one Beast Moab. Ugh, oh, I'm going to miss that guy when this series is over. Once again, go check out Amp Clan and Amp Boob. Unbelievable gameplays. This has been Gnarly Rick. Peace.